Hello, veteran 012 in here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest VIII. Trode was picking his ear with a wand just now? I had no idea he could do such things. Anyways, what I was going to do now is actually show off a new recipe that I wasn't going to do at first, but now I'm going to do it because we can actually make something for Angelo. Um, that's actually pretty good for this uh, point in the game. What I want to do is I want to take highly strung cheese. Glad I didn't use them all. And a silver tiara. And a rainbow fan. You can buy these rainbow fans here at Try and Gully. And we're going to pop these into the alchemy pot. Yeah, we're going to be making a Stellar Fan. And hopefully I have the ingredients for what I'm about to make next. And I'll take a Stellar Fan. Gold Rosary. Oh, fuck. Nope, I don't have the items, apparently. Damn it. Yeah, I forgot what you need. Alright, I think I got it now. We want to do a Stellar Fan, a Full Moon Ring. I had to get some more Gold Rings for that. And the last one should be a Gold Rosary here. Yeah, let's pop this shit in the alchemy pot. And we can make a lunar fan. Now. Let's take this lunar fan. And let's combine it with a flowing dress and a crimson robe. Yeah, I made the um, crimson robe off screen. The uh, flowing dress you can buy at Trying Gully in the item shop. And we made the Oriental Warrior Wear. This is brand new armor for Angelo, exclusive to the 3DS version of the game. What this does. Is it deletes 35 points of damage from all spells and breath attacks? Uh, I'm not sure if it if Zap is excluded from that, but it might be. I don't know. I couldn't find any any information online saying contrary to uh, that information. But yeah, Oriental attire that augments defense against a plethora of elemental spells and attacks. Very very good for Angelo. Much better than a silver male. So let's go ahead and equip that. And it does change his appearance too. Oh nice, nice ponytail. I think it's like, I think he's got shorter hair. Yeah, that looks kind of cool, except for the uh, graphical glitches he's got with his, uh, is that a graphical glitch? I'm thinking that's a graphical glitch that he's got with his uh, his bow arm. Oh well. <laughs> Whatever. Still very good for him. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to make some other gears we can make now that... I think there's a Hexlix outfit you can make for Jessica, and I think there's another one too. Alright, going to be making something else here. Uh, I want to make a point. Yeah, I want to take a poison needle and I want to take a eagle dagger and let's throw this into the alchemy pot. Yeah, we're gonna be making an assassin dagger. Not because I want an assassin dagger, but I need it for another recipe. All right, so we got an assassin dagger. This can uh, instant kill targets if you cook on Jessica or Red, but I don't really care about it. What I want to do is I want to take that 
assassin dagger. And I don't have a devil tail. Didn't I have a spare devil tail? Or did I? Oh, never mind. I can't do this yet. Yeah, I just need another double tail. Yeah, I was gonna mix an assassin's dagger and a double tail together to make an imp knife, which is a new item for this version of the game. But yeah, I need another double tail. Unfortunately, I was not lucky enough to uh, get a double tail drop from like you know a tap double or one of the enemies that drop it yet. Oh well. I guess I'm not going to be making the Hexlet armor, or the Hexlet uh, equipment for Jessica. Yeah, I will show that, but I can't do it right now, apparently. Alright, next, next recipe is going to be a recovery ring and something else. Gold bracer, here we go. You can make a life bracer. This is an accessory that when you equip it on a character, it will increase their HP by 30. Which I guess is kind of nice. Hopefully I got the ingredients for what I'm trying to make here. I probably don't. Probably gonna have to make more of something else to make something else to, you know how that goes. So yeah, a dress relief, no, that's not one of it. Spangled dress and, please tell me I have it. Dancer's costume, perfect. Yeah, we can make a natid, or natid tutu. So I'm not sure if we need like a headband or some kind of crap of this to, to make it work. A celebrity skirt that results in HP recovery with every step its wearer makes. Oh, isn't that nice? I don't care about that. But isn't that nice? I guess Jessica can equip it. What the hell? What does she got? Like a microphone? She's got like a headset microphone. What the hell is this crap? What is she supposed to be like a rock star now? Like Britney Spears or some shit? Wow, that's weird. Huh. But yeah, as far as the Hexlet costume for her, I, I can't do it again. I need a double tail. So I'll be showing that some other time. Alright, in between pause breaks, I farmed for some rock salt and I made 20 highly strung cheese. Rock salt, super spicy cheese, and cold cheese make highly strung cheese. In my opinion, the best cheese in the game. Uh, very easy to do with red in your party. Uh, I was getting rock salts uh, twice over in some battles. But anyway, speaking of highly strung cheese, this is Waterfall Cave Hut Part 3. This is the last uh, bit of the side quest. And this becomes available after you fight Marcello. So we get some highly strong cheese, though the game doesn't tell you how many he gives you, it's actually three. So, um, so yeah, three highly strong cheese, man. Very, very nice. Should be very, very useful on bosses, man. Be able to use one or two of them before Munchie gets full in battle. Yep, as you can see, 23. Alright, now we're going to zoom to Red's house. Because, oh, we can't zoom there, but we can... We can zoom to the, um, Swordsman's Labyrinth, I guess. Because there's a particular item we can get there. At this point.
Yeah, for some reason my game likes to lag in this area. Not as bad as the Argonia region, but still kind of bad. Or hell, the Savella Cathedral region. That's the worst. That's the absolute worst fucking place <laughs> for this game. Ugh. But yeah, after fighting Marcello, you can come back here to Red's Hut. Yeah, you got all those bunny girls looking after the monster arena. <laughs> yeah, we're all coming back. None of us are going to die. It's not one of them games. Anyway. Hey Red, what are you doing with your feet up, eh? We've got to give that rap form geezer a good item, remember? Yangus, 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 you just don't get it, do ya? When the going gets tough, it's extra important to take a bit of time to relax and get your strength back. No point going into battle cream crackered, is there? Oh, right -o. You can be a bit slow sometimes, can't ya? I just hope that don't mean you're gonna let the side down when it comes to the crunch in battle. Wait a sec. Here, take this. But it's just a loan, right? I want it back once everything's sorted. And don't you dare try doing a runner with it, or I swear I'll find you and I'll do ya. Got it? All right, keep your hair on. Once we've sorted this rap form geezer out, you'll get his straight back. Scout's on her. Alright, we get the Flail of Fury, which is a weapon for Yangus. Uh, it's not associated with any skill points. It's a weapon that does damage to all enemies on the screen, more or less. Yeah, present from Red, this Flail is capable of hitting multiple enemies in a single swing. It's from earlier Dragon Quest games. Uh, it's alright, I guess. Um, yeah, it's alright. I don't, I probably won't even use it. Um, if I didn't have Thin Air Attack, I might use it. Uh, there's actually a better, uh, flail we can get later on once we collected enough mini metals. But there you go. There's a flail of fury from Red. Actually, I should probably check to see if she has anything else to say, huh? that flail of fury working out for you then, eh? Remember, I only lent it to you. Once this is all over, I want it back. That's it, huh? Alright, whatever. Whatever. Alright, I guess now we're gonna be going to... Back Rats. There's another little side quest we can do here, although it's pretty stupid and pointless. But I might as well show it anyways. So 
something strange going on over there, huh? There's a squid taking a bath. Uh-oh. What the hell is that shit all about, huh? <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? Yeah, this isn't trying gully, man. Not even close. <laughs> so yeah, let's fight the king squid because these people suck at it. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Blade cascade it is. Yeah. King Squid is defeated. Ah, oh, thank you. You saved us from disaster. But what are we going to do? If Cash and Carrie hear about this, we'll have to make sure it never gets out. It's gone too far now. We'll have to shut him up. Yes, we'll have to buy them off with tokens. What? Please, we'll give you 200 tokens if you promise not to tell Cash and Carrie about any of this. Uh, 200 tokens? How about no? Are you trying to get more out of me? I can offer you 400, but that's it. No more. Uh, how about no? I said I wouldn't give you any more. 400 tokens is my last offer. She's crying. Keep crying. I said I wouldn't okay, give you... Okay, so I guess you can get more than 200. The 400 is still nothing. Fine. Thank you. I'll have the tokens credited to your account. Okay, the walkthrough I'm using said that you can get 200 tokens, but he didn't say anything about being able to haggle it up to 400, but even still, that's crap. Then 400 promise, tokens is nothing. Not a word of this to anyone. Whatever. You guys suck at paying up people off, man. But yeah, as you can see, that side quest is fucking stupid. Yeah, maybe the key squid was ha just having a bad day, man. Sometimes, you know, or sometimes monsters probably have bad days too, you know, just like, just like the humans do. I don't know. Oh yeah, and I might as well get this now too before I forget. Yeah, we can get more nook grass from Merrick. Alright, so we get four more bunches of nook grass. Thank you very much, sir. So yeah, that's how you get eight nook grass from that guy. You just, uh, you lie to him the first time, and then after you fight Marcello, you can come back and get four more. 
Alright, well I wasn't gonna show this uh, scene in this video, I was actually gonna wait till later, but I figured why not, I'll show it now. It's a little extra scene that was added to the 3DS version of uh, Dragon Quest State was not in the PlayStation 2 version. But yeah, to get this little scene or backstory or extra story, you gotta come back to Calderas's house. So you're back, are you? <laughs> and not just to say hello to your old friend Calderasha, I see. Very well. For you, I will clear the mists for free. But you are lucky. The great Calderasha's usual fee is... Astrological! So... What hides in the mists of my crystal ball today? Let me see. Yes, yes! They are clearing now! And... What? What is this? Uh... Master? Do you think, perhaps, you could teach me some magic soon? Not this again, Dalmagus. You are not yet ready, as I've said many times before. What about your chores, hmm? Have you finished clearing up outside? Oh, um, no, not yet. Well, don't just stand there. Get on with it. Sorry, Master. Mm, there's still something missing, but what? I'm so close now, so very close. <sighs> How many years has it been now? How many years spent scrubbing floors and dusting shelves? Is this truly what it is to be a sage's apprentice? He hasn't taught me a thing. What little magic I do know, I've had to teach myself. Uh, if such piffling parlor tricks can even be called magic. Ever going to master real spells when my every waking minute is taken up with mind-numbing chores. Hmm? What's this about? A legendary scepter? Sealed away in Castle Tredane? The answer. If I only had that scepter, I could wield any magic I wanted. Dulmagus, what are you doing? Uh, ah, master, I am... Um, uh... I have warned you about reading my grimoires without prior permission, have I not? They are not for your eyes. You still have to grasp even the most basic principles of magic use. <clears throat> and yet you cannot even follow that one simple rule. Bah! I'd be better off with a dog as an apprentice. At least it would obey me. <sighs> Where are you going? Dulmagus, come back here!
It is an honor to be allowed to entertain you, Your Majesty. I have prepared some <laughs> tricks for your amusement. Very good. Most impressive. Yes, most impressive indeed. You will stay here at the castle tonight. I insist as a reward for that remarkable show. <laughs> you are too kind, Your Majesty. So I'm guessing some time has passed uh, since he ran away from Rylus. But yeah, he knows like cheap parlor tricks basically. Just good enough to be a gesture. <gasps> what? <laughs> My eyes! Is that you, Dullmagus? Where have you been all this time? Anyway, I owe you an apology. I should not have spoken to you the way I did. Your failings as an apprentice are mine as a master. But enough about that. I have great news. After years of experimentation and research, my elixir is all but complete. When you drink it, it will awaken the latent magical potential that lies within you, Dulmegus. And with a little hard work, you will at last be able to weave the potent enchantments you have always dreamt of. <gasps> Dulmegus, what's happened to you? Where did you get that scepter? Oh no, you haven't. <laughs> hmm. Such a pity. Such a pity. Such a pity. Such a pity. So, now we know how it happened. What a terrible end for poor Rylos. Had I only known what a fiend that jester was, I would never have let him cross the threshold. But Rylus was a careless master, I must say. Yeah, he was. One must be in touch with one's servant's needs and moods. It's little wonder he met such a sticky end. <laughs> oh man, <clears throat> Trolls got jokes. <laughs> <laughs> There is nothing more to see in my crystal ball today. Go! 
You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this little scene was actually cut from the PlayStation 2 version of the game, because it seemed like in that little sequence there, they were using, like, old FMV, like, they didn't even bother when upscaling. When you come, the great Kaldarasha will tell for you another fortune, though maybe not for free. In fact, maybe having Red and Mori in your party was cut from the PlayStation 2 version originally. I mean, it's possible. It's entirely possible. What, Fairberry doesn't have enough pizzazz for you? Come on, man. Yeah, maybe they just think it's a big, nice sunset or something. I don't know. Battle with the Lord of Darkness Raptorn. Yes, I saw it in the crystal. He is at the root of this catastrophe. And now, before your final encounter with him, you wish me to look in the crystal ball once again and reveal the outcome of the battle? What, you can't see? Oh. Yeah, I am perhaps mistaken, but I have a strong feeling there's more awaiting you on the Holy Isle. So yeah, he gives you a little clue that you can go back to the Holy Isle of Neos. There's more there for us, so let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, I'll get this side quest started, but I'm not going to be finishing it in this video, probably. Jessica, are you all right? I... I just got this strange image in my head. There was a desert, and a huge skeleton... of a dragon, was it? And a crystal ball. That'll be that dragon graveyard place in the desert. South of Argonia, wasn't it? We should get down there, pronto. Oh, no. I don't like it. It feels too much like when I was being controlled by Rapthorn. Nonsense! We would be nitwits to ignore such an obvious message. Let us make immediate preparations to depart for the desert. The Dragon Graveyard's a fair old way to the west of here, right? Lucky we can fly, eh? Well, we can zoom too, actually, but whatever works, man. Whatever works. Yeah, it's a dodgy place for sure. Fantastico, a bimba can see to the future as well as make the powerful magic, eh? With a magnificent pair of skills. <laughs> what the fuck?
Dude, Mori is great, man. All right. Well, that's nice. Yeah, I guess we might as well just fly there. Why the hell not? But yeah, we got to go through the dragon graveyard again. No, it's not overly creative imagination. But yeah, with this next dungeon that we're going to be going to, this next optional dungeon, uh, you might want to have Angelo in your party for this. Everyone, this is it. This is the place I saw. Come on then, the crystal ball should be in here. Suppose there's nothing for it then. In we go. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Who's that? Gonna be uh, kicking tons of ass in here. Gonna be kicking all kinds of ass. We got Temple Detention, and Blade Cascade, and Thin Air Attack. But yeah, it didn't, like I mentioned uh, earlier on in the video, it didn't take me too long to farm for that rock salt. Uh, with Red in your party, if you got her roguery built up to 66 points, man, I mean, it really helps. Some of those battles I was getting, again, like two rock salts, because I was getting one from the normal enemy drop, and then I was getting some from stealing, too. Yeah, the, the steal rate is a separate rate that also happens along with regular item drops. So it's totally worth building that up, man. For some reason Mori's going first here. Yeah, they don't have a chance. These enemies don't have a chance.
Why are we letting them attack? I hate preemptive strikes or surprise attacks. They're so cheap. Then again, I like it when it happens for us too, so I shouldn't complain. Yeah. Pwned. Utterly pwned. Bad guys in here? Fuck, I can't even walk. Stealing the fucking crystal ball, right? It doesn't even belong to us. Descendants of the great sages, a dire foe awaits you, and I would not have you meet with him on. Prepared. Now, hearken to my words. Among the many fiends in Rapthorn's service, one stands apart. A demon by the name of Juggeroth. By his hand, proud cities were raised to the ground and countless innocent lives snuffed out. We encountered him shortly after the battle with Rapthorn, our wounds still fresh. It was a desperate struggle, but we mustered the last vestiges of our strength and wore him down, blow by blow, until victory seemed within our grasp. But try as we might, we could not destroy him. Worse, the final magic we cast upon him was not strong enough to seal him away for good. And so, he disappeared to lick his wounds, whither we did not know. We reasoned that his lair must be somewhere in the wild land. But we could not find it. He is certain to return. Once his wounds have healed, he will break whatever remains of the seal we placed upon him, and all the world shall suffer. My children, should Juggeroth rise again, you must seek help. You will need powerful allies if you are to stop him. <sighs> now, at last, 
My duty as a great sage is done. The Wildlands he mentioned must be the place where we found the ship, don't you think? I was so excited about finding it, I didn't think to look around. We should head back there and see if we missed anything. Alrighty. That's what we'll do. But yeah, let's just uh, e back out of here. Flying there to where we need to go this time might actually be faster with the, with the, uh, the bird. Because the closest place you can zoom to is the hilltop height. You still gotta walk a little ways to get there. Yep. Poor Neos, man. It's basically just a big pile of rubble. There it is. Yeah, if you remember, yeah, the ship was right there. And then just behind it, that's where we gotta go. Yeah, I'm thinking Juggeroth is going to be a demon type enemy, so uh, I think Mori is going to have to be like kind of mandatory for this place, you know, considering he's got the King Cobra Claw and that does damage to demon type enemies. I mean, I suppose you could, you could be fine without him, but yeah, my party is going to be Vet, Mori, Red, and Angelo. Jessica is going to sit this one out. Uh, I think, yeah, I don't know what happens exactly if you don't have Angelo in your party for this next bit. I've always had Angelo in my party, but I don't know. I guess if you know what happens when he's not in your party, then feel free to drop it in the comment section, I guess. I would imagine not much would be di different other than you lose out on some dialogue. I don't know. I, I really don't know. But, um... Feel free to comment um, either way. See you next time. Bye-bye.